Hello, today we're going to look at SSRS 2016, some of the neat new uh, features they've added. This is a, a view of Report Manager, the way it used to look. This has been replaced with what's called the uh, SSRS Web Portal. This is in IE. Bring up Chrome just to show you that it displays the same way. And it's just um, some pretty neat new features here. We're going to go through them one by one. This uh, menu over here. The new menu is uh, where most of the action happens. Uh, but before we get into that, let's talk about branding. Um, so if you click the gear icon over here, go down to site settings, you can of course change the name. If you'd like, apply. But if you want to go a little deeper, change colors, do a custom logo, you can upload what's called a brand package. And that consists of three files, colors, JSON file, logo, and a metadata. XML file. I've zipped them into this one file here and when I um, upload it instantly or almost instantly uh, applies those um, custom coloring and, and custom logo that I've added. So this is what it looks like with the new color scheme and new custom logo. And just as easily as we customized it we can revert it by clicking the remove button. So that's a little bit about the <clears throat> custom branding. Um, up at the top, you have folders here where you can uh, store um, reports to organize it differently. You can uh, create new folders from the new menu. Um, let, next, let's jump into the KPIs here. We'll click uh, New KPI. And um, under, let's call this uh, Demo KPI. And the values, we can set that manually or uh, go out to a data source uh, and data set that I've created. So I'm going to click the current vet, uh, revenue column and then the goal and do the same thing uh, going after the same data set and the goal. And then lastly, status. This is uh, what determines the color. The negative value is going to be red, uh, like a negative one, and then zero is going to be yellow, and the one's going to be green. So click our status field. You can change the graphics here. Uh, related content, you can link it to a mobile report or put in a URL of your choice. And we're good to go. Click Create. And uh, we've created that. Um, and so when you click on it, it's going to show you the KPI plus the related content. Of course, you can add it to your favorites, um, manage it, and delete it. Um, here's your favorites. Uh, it's anything you've pinned as a favorite. So that's a quick overview of KPIs. Next, let's look at mobile reports. Um, you can see these nice, rich visuals that come with the uh, mobile reports, very similar to what you see on Power BI. And this is one of the coolest new features of SSRS, in my opinion. So how do we do those? Let's click our new menu again and uh, the mobile report menu item. And this is going to down. Uh, um, Run the SQL Server Mobile Report Publisher, and that's a, a download you can get out there for free. And so let's uh, mock up a report here. And the, the great thing about this is you can put these uh, visuals in here quickly, but then there's also um, sample data behind it that will allow us to uh, kind of get a good feel for what the report's going to look like very quickly. So we put all those in there, we click preview, <clears throat> and then we can see quickly what the report looks like. Um, so we've got the interactivity, you can select across months, uh, this time navigator uh, visual works very nicely. Uh, what else can we do here? Well, we can change the color scheme up here. And we can also uh, format it to a, a phone specifically. Um, for the display for a phone. So we'll put these the way we want them for a phone display and then click preview and it'll bring up an, an emulator here to, to show you what it looks like on a, on a phone. And then you've got your uh, data tab here which uh, you can add uh, the, uh, additional data sources uh, you can uh, pull from multiple data sources, and uh, you can also do drill through. Like on this uh, element, this visual here, you click the drill through target, 
and then we're going to pick mobile report and then connect to our mobile uh, our SSRS server and we'll click our report here so let's go ahead and save this to our server as we'll let that save close this down refresh our SSRS web portal and we should see our report over on the left so we'll bring this up here same visualizations as we saw in the preview mode and then if you click down here that's going to drill down to another report so that's all configurable super easy to do super cool and actually fun next we have paginated reports and this is what you think of as your traditional SSRS reports um, using Report Builder or Visual Studio Report Designer. So let's go ahead and um, build one of those reports now. Uh, click New and as you would expect, Paginated Report. So this is going to bring up Report Builder. We're going to go ahead and create a chart. We're going to create a new data set. Uh, we're going to base it on that data source. We're going to throw in a query. Let's test it. Yep, it's bringing back data. Let's do a column chart, put our count in the values, and uh, this is a listing of degrees. Let's put that in categories. Click Next. Yep, looks like we what we want. And um, put a sample chart label there. Let's just stretch this out a little bit, give it a little more room to breathe. Save this one as uh, my paginated report. Close that down. And then refresh our web portal and see what we have. And once this comes up, I'll show you a new export feature. Here's our paginated report one. Bring it up. Of course, you can print it. Uh, but also in the export, we now have PowerPoint. So you click that instead of any copying and pasting, um, you can export it directly to PowerPoint, which came up in my other window. Here it is. Uh, here it is right here. So that is pretty neat. Let's go back home. So we've talked about folders, KPIs, mobile reports, paginated reports. Of course, you've got your data sets and data sources down here. What else can you do? Well, you can upload um, Power BI files as well. This is the PBIX file, so um, it's just a, a nice way to be able to store all your content in one place. And if we view, uh, click the view menu and click Power BI Desktop Reports, then we're going to see this uh, report that we uploaded. And when you click on that, that's going to simply open up your Power BI Desktop uh, so that you can work on it from there. Um, you can also see under the view menu, that uh, we have Excel workbooks. So any workbooks you've uploaded, you can um, display on the web portal too. So that's a quick overview of the new features of SSRS 2016. Hope you enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon.